Okay, welcome. Um, if you open your iMovie up, this is basically what you'll see. Um, this will be a quick run through tutorial to get you started with making your first videos. First important point here is you have three titles here. First one's media, which is all your videos and stuff. Um, this could video is photographs, projects, which is the videos you've already made or in the process of making. And then you've got theater, which basically is a movie player. So let's start off with projects. And we're going to start a new project and we'll have a new movie. And now, first thing we're going to do here is add some photos. So we'll go to our photo library. Let's just grab some random photos. Let's have a car. So you can just drop that in the timeline. Let's get two or three. There we go. So we've got some photographs there. Now, if you're doing a movie slideshow, you're probably going to want some transitions, um, audio and that sort of thing. So up here, what you've got is audio. You can add sounds. You can do a voiceover. You, you know, click in here. You can do like a narration. Um, I'm not going to add any of these sounds in here because quite simply, we don't need them. Um, because I'm not sure the copyright on them, so I'm just leaving them out. Uh, titles, plenty to choose from. Let's just take this one here, Pixie Dust. So just click on it, or drag it down. Should be able to double click, Let's slide this over. Should be able to double click it. No, okay, drag it down there. Oh, it's there, it's there already. Just remove that so I can show you again. Double click, it's dropped it in there. So move that to the start. You can put it anywhere you like, but normally, as you would expect, it'd be at the start. Um, it's asking me what the title is, so we'll just call it Test Video, Test Video 1. So now we've got a title. And if we play that from the start now, there we go, Test Video 1. Nice glittery, nice, nice and shiny. And what will happen, it then goes into the different pictures that we've loaded. Now, as you can see, it's doing different slide versions, but you can also have transitions. So if we go between the two, between the two photographs, go up here, we can add a transition. So we'll just have a circle one. Let's drop that in there. Um, a slider to the left over here in between these two. So we press play again, we'll take from the start so you can see what we've done as our intro. It's going to come to the second picture now, a little circle bit. And it's going to change again, sliding across and sliding up onto the photograph. So that's the basic transitions. Now backgrounds are normally the um, for things like uh, maybe you want to do a basic intro, which is just going to have some text on. Or maybe you're looking at a green screen, where basically, if you had a uh, no background, uh, use a green screen, then you can actually alter it to slot one of these in over the back of it. We're not going to do that today because it's a bit more complicated. Um, so what we'll do is going to show you how to add video. So we've now got our photo set up, but how do we add some video? So the first thing we want to do is add some media. You've got two buttons here. So we want to see the media library. Oh, hang on. This one here, my media. Um, let's find a video clip that's already in here somewhere. They have a little sign on them that tell you it's video and not a photograph. So there should be some of that. There we go, see? These ones are upside down. Uh, this one I'll do. 1.9 minutes. That's 9.1 seconds. That's a better one. Now, you can drop it in at the end. You can drop it in, in the middle. Like there. Oh, hang on. I want to push it in there. Because um, you can have double timelines as well. Um, so, for example, Say I wanted this audio on that photograph and instead of removing the audio and separating, I could actually just drop it up here and the audio would play with that image. 
let's do an example here. All right, so that's that one. So it's got to be back to front. <laughs> so take that, put that up on the top. Right, let's see if I drop this down. They don't make it simple. There we go. I want that one on there. That's it. So now the back to front. We should. There you go. So I'll play the audio of this this video, but with these photographs on the top. Most of this stuff is about playing around with it and getting used to it. It's, it's not a difficult software. Um, and also you can adjust how long you want things to show for by adjusting the length of them just by grabbing the end of it. Uh, let's take that video out. Oh, I don't do that. So I want to put those back. That should be control. No, it's not letting me have it back. Oh. Edit, undo. That's it. Uh, so I want rid of just this one. Cut. Oh, don't do that. I want. Okay, put them down here. Put them down there. Okay, I'm going to move that. Just click the delete button and it's gone. And now we're pretty much back where we were. <clears throat> Okay, so we've got that back where we were roughly. That's working. So, say I did this and I wanted to add a video on the end. What I do is I go to the end here. Let's just slide across. Then click this button up here with the arrow down. And as you can see, you can see me. And what it will do is actually record using the FaceTime software. There's a slight distortion at the moment because I'm recording twice. I've got two bits of software open. But if I press record button here now, and I'll just go one, two, three, four, and we'll just stop it, close that. It's over here now, look. And we can just drop that in there. It's as easy as that. I mean, it really is easy software to use, and I do recommend it. Um, especially if you but I'm press record button here now and I'll just go one two three four very quick and easy to use you can have your first video up and running in no time um, that's the basics on how to make it now if you click projects back here we want to call it this is where it saves it so save our file save our file <clears throat> So we're now in projects, it's now recognized that. This little bit here will give you options to output it. So you can send it to the theater, which is the, the player up here. You can send it an email, you can put it into iTunes, send it into YouTube. If you set your YouTube account up, you can send it directly into YouTube. Same with Facebook, Vimeo. Um, but we're gonna do it with a file. And I'll show you why in a minute. So it's going to save it as save our file, tags iMovie, but you can put more relevant tags, uh, sample video, what, you know, whatever tags are relevant to it, format, do you just want the audio, do you want the video and audio, resolution, you can upgrade that, but we don't really need it for this test, quality, you can adjust the quality on it, and the compression. So it's quite a short video, only 17 seconds. So I press next. Here you can add it to the theater as well, but we're not going to, because we're going to go straight through to saving the file. Click next. I'm going to put it onto the desktop. And this little circle here is it processing. The reason it's slow is because we're actually running uh, Filmora on top of this um, purely because I'm recording to a video editor with another piece of video editing software. So now we'll go to the desktop because I want to show you something else. So <clears throat> what we've got now is save our file, that's our file. This piece of software is called Handbrake, which will compress your videos for uploading into things like YouTube. Because if we look at the file size on this, 
and let's open it in the Finder. You can see it's 24.8 megabytes. Some files are much, much bigger. Uh, there's one there, debt management's 812. Um, but what I want to show you is if we grab this, just drop it in here. Oh, dropped it in the wrong place. Drop it in here. It's going to save it on the desktop again, but I put two um, because it's not going to overwrite the file we're just making. Uh, you've got some adjustments here. The only one, because this is mainly for YouTube, the main one you want is for web optimized. The quality of everything else is fine. And then just press start. And it's just encoding it now. Let's just finish that file. So we have a look at this now, which is file two. Uh, show. Oh, where is it? Show in. I want to see it in Finder. Should reveal in Finder. You can see it's now 3.3 megabytes. And that's the main reason people use Handbrake for YouTube, because it just makes the files tiny in comparison. There's the original one, and that's the new one. Hope you found this tutorial quick and easy to understand. And thank you for watching.